Greet. Ings, everybody, and welcome to another Will It Ketchup. In this series, I have been making ketchup out of things that are not tomatoes by basically taking a recipe for tomato ketchup, taking the tomatoes out, and replacing it with something else. I've done this with pineapples, mangoes, noni, a lot of, a lot of strong flavors. And what I've learned is that using strong flavors is very important. So when I decided to make a ketchup using apples instead of tomatoes, I was a little concerned. In fact, since tomatoes are not themselves that strong of a flavor, if you use other mild fruits instead of tomatoes, it ends up tasting kind of like tomato ketchup anyway. In the Philippines, for instance, there is something called banana ketchup, where they make ketchup using bananas, and this came from there being a shortage of tomatoes at one point in time, so they replaced it with bananas, and it tastes surprisingly like regular tomato ketchup. A little different, but pretty similar. So with apples, I've decided to make sure that I'm going to use a strong enough apple for this recipe, and that is why I'm going to use Granny Smith apples. These are usually the apple of choice if you're going to make like an apple pie or something, because there's a more flavor in here. They're very tart. Not everybody likes eating them out of hand, but they are definitely very popular for baking. And I think because of that, it might actually work. So um, let's do it. Let's not waste any time. Let's see if I can make a ketchup with apples that actually has some sort of apple flavor to it. Okay, so for the fresh ingredients, I'm not doing anything too different. We've got uh, two apples, uh, one medium-sized onion, three garlic cloves, uh, a little bit more ginger than I normally would use, and also one uh, bird's eye chili. This is gonna make it kind of spicy, but I think that's gonna be good. <laughs> for the not-so-fresh ingredients, I am switching it up a little bit. Uh, first of all, I don't have any brown sugar. Usually I put three tablespoons of brown sugar. Don't have any, but I do have dates. So I'm actually gonna put some dates in here. Uh, I'm gonna put six dates in to replace it. Cause these are not like pure sugar, but they're pretty close. So I'm gonna put like two dates per uh, tablespoon to see how that works for me. I also have apple cider vinegar, one fourth of a cup of that and uh, salt, one teaspoon of salt. Where things are gonna get quite different are with the spices, because usually I would put cinnamon in with this, but I feel like if I put cinnamon and apples together, it's gonna to taste like apple pie. I want this to have like an apple flavor, not an apple pie flavor. So I took the cinnamon out uh, and I replaced it with grains of paradise. So grains of paradise, is actually related to this guy here, the cardamom here, and uh, also related to uh, ginger, okay? So this is going to give it a little bit of a spiciness, a little bit of a nuttiness, a little bit of like a kind of like a heat, kind of like cardamom and ginger. It's gonna be good. I, this goes pretty well with apples. So I think that's gonna be a good replacement. I am also going to use four cardamom pods with the uh, shell on it. Uh, I also have one clove cloves give a lot of a flavor to ketchup so it's important to have a little bit in there and also a little bit of black pepper so first I'm going to take all of these whole spices and place them into this mortar make sure to get a lot of the spices onto the floor hmm this is too much onion. So I'm actually going to change my mind and only use about half of it. Some mornings it's difficult for me to move in the right direction, but that is why I have Trade Coffee. 
Trade is a coffee subscription service. All you have to do is fill out their survey online about how you like your coffee, and then Trade will send you freshly roasted coffee that's based on your preferences. My favorite thing about Trade is that they work with coffee roasters all across the country. And if you're like me, that means every single time that you get a bag of coffee, it is a different bag of coffee. If you're not like me and you want to make sure that it's something that you like, you can actually save your favorites and then they will keep sending you the ones that you want. Once you get your coffee, you can then rate it and Trade will adjust your preferences accordingly and then, the best part, they will send you more coffee. Right now, Trade is offering new subscribers a total of $30 off their first order plus free shipping. That is if you go to my link, drinktrade.com slash weirdexplore. It ends up working out to being like 40 cups of free coffee. It's a good deal. So check out that link and thank you, Trade, for sponsoring this video. Because I'm dealing with a fruit that is uh, rather dense and I didn't cut it up that small, <laughs> I'm going to actually throw a little water in now just to jump start it. So this cooks for about 30 minutes and you have to watch it. <laughs> so it kind of sucks, but um, you know, take it as an opportunity to think about what you're going to put this ketchup on. Okay. It's been 30 minutes and uh, these apples are now only a ghost <laughs> of their former selves. And um, basically I have made a very savory, oniony applesauce, which gives me an idea of what I'm going to do with this, but uh, I'll tell you what it is in a minute. All right, so I'm left with some very chunky ketchup. And I don't know about you, I do not like my ketchup chunky, so I'm going to blend this up by placing it into this vessel right here. And yes, I did make coffee. Been doing this a long time, guys. <laughs> okay, next, my least favorite part going to strain out all this gunk through a fine mesh strainer. And I'm just going to do it back into the pot, which I uh, washed out. And if you're doing this and it's just not working, add some water to it. It will eventually work its way through. So, there you go. It is um, not the prettiest ketchup that I've made, but I don't know how to finish that sentence. I'm going to put this in the fridge so it can cool down and those flavors can mellow out a little bit. And I'm going to work on what I'm going to put this ketchup on. So, as I said, as I was cooking these apples down and noting the resemblance that it had to applesauce, I was thinking like, applesauce? and ketchup. There's something that people put applesauce and ketchup on. Potato pancakes, or latkes. So, let's do it.
Okay, so... <laughs> this isn't the best bottle to use because that opening is a little bit too small. There. <laughs> there we go. Done. Alright then. It's not the prettiest <laughs> thing that I've made, but it is, um what it is. So I'm going to try a little bit of the ketchup just on its own. You can taste the apples. They're in there. I mean, honestly, the flavor is not nearly as strong as a fresh apple, but it's still there. And it does taste like a mixture of applesauce and ketchup. Leaving out the cinnamon was a good idea. Using ginger Grains of Paradise and cardamom, it's adding a flavor that kind of works with the apple. It brings out some of like the, the bite of an apple. And uh, it's good, it's good. But what about the uh, the potato pancakes? Let's, let's try that. Some people like to put applesauce on their potato pancakes. Some people like sour, sour cream. Some people like ketchup. Me, I lean towards ketchup and sour cream. I, I'm okay with the applesauce on, on potato pancakes, but it's not my preferred way. But what if we like combine two of those together? What do we get? That worked. That worked pretty well. Um, but here's the thing. It's not enough like ketchup to replace ketchup, and it's not enough like applesauce to replace applesauce. I, I created something else. So this is good, but it's a different condiment. It's not ketchup, it's not applesauce, it is whatever the hell this is. So um, that's interesting. That doesn't happen very often here. Usually the ketchups I've made have tasted more or less like ketchup and, but uh, this time I made something else. And if you are uh, bored, <laughs> and want to make a condiment with apples, give it a shot. It's pretty nice, and um, I think that's all I have to say about this. If you enjoy this series, I have made many, many like it. I have made ketchups out of a lot of different things, and I will put a link to some of those in the description below. And if you would like me to make ketchup out of anything in particular, let me know. Put a comment below, and um, we'll see what I can do next. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.